with this is shocking story by the way brothers and sisters that you need to hear it really takes you back Ahmed ibn Hanbal and Yahya ibn Ma'in they went to the Kaaba uh, for their own يعني, ibadah and righteous deeds their purpose was not to meet any scholar at that time and when they went to the Kaaba they both saw a man who they initially traveled from Baghdad to meet Ahmed left Baghdad and Yahya ibn Ma'in as well their purpose of leaving Baghdad was to meet Abdul Razak bin Imam Sanani who lived in Yemen. But before they went to Yemen, they thought, okay, let's go to the Kaaba. Is it Hajj they went for or Umrah? Allahu Alam, I don't remember. But when they got there, they saw a man sitting in the Kaaba. After talking to him, they found out from his narrations that he's informing them of that it's Abdul Razak bin Imam himself. Yahya ibn Ma'in said to Ahmed, Allahu Akbar. This is a blessing from Allah that we don't have to make the whole entire journey to Yemen. We have Abdul Razak with us right now. Why don't we just take it from him here? Ahmed ibn Hanbal said, I made an intention. I had made, I've made an intention when I left Iraq that I'm going to go to Yemen and I'm going to take the narration from Abdul Razak. My intention wasn't to take it from him here. So let Abdul Razak go to Yemen and we'll go to Yemen. And we'll take it from him. This shocks anyone who understands the distance that you have to cut from the Kaaba to Yemen. Brothers, it's not a flight. It is not a short journey. It is not a short journey. It is months on that road. Walking. Putting your belongings on a riding beast. It could come to an end. Risks. Highway robbery. So many different things. But the intention of these determination that these guys, Imams have come with, it's profound. Sometimes you think to yourself, Allahu Akbar, how on earth did they do this? Yahya said, Ahmed, okay, 